from the Water Quality Control Bureau from Tehran, Iran. He will be presenting the, the presentation with the topic Protecting Water Resources by Implementation Water Safety Plans. Hello and uh, good evening. Uh, my lecture is about the protecting water resource by implementing water safety plans. Uh, before starting our experience uh, in implementing water safety plan, I am interested to explain about our existing water quality control system. Uh, our role as water supplier is just as internal audit to ensure that uh, drinking water characteristics meet the standards or not. Uh, also, we have an external audit that it was done by Ministry of Public Health. Uh, in other words, we just uh, do endpoint <coughs> monitoring and not uh, mm, any uh, production monitoring in groundwater resources. So, uh, we can count some disadvantage of uh, that system, I mean the endpoint monitoring. We have some intentional contamination of drinking water in a storage tanks due to inappropriate uh, protection, uh, both in urban or rural areas. Uh, we have uh, some incidents uh, such as uh, mm, in the last few years, the crude oil entering to the intake of water treatment uh, with a capacity of 10 cubic meters per second. And uh, yeah, it's due to a uh, fracture of oil pipeline. Uh, you can see the picture of that incident here. The uh, bulldozer uh, crashed the pipeline and uh, the oil entered to the river and go to the intake of uh, water treatment plant. So uh, we have some incidents like overturned tankers carrying uh, liquid, chemical liquid, toxic liquid, liquid, and we have one of them uh, that entering uh, 10,000 liters of MTB in a dam. And surprisingly, we have a viral infection in drinking water in a city with a large number of intestinal disease. Uh, this happens uh, despite of negative coliform bacteria test and the result of appropriate concentration of free residual foreign. You can see that uh, if we just uh, have the endpoint monitoring, we have negative coliform bacteria and appropriate concentration of coloring. This is okay for a uh, distribution, distribution system. But we have viral infection, uh, so uh, we can count the disadvantage and shortage of uh, our system as below. Uh, the endpoint monitoring is just retrospective instead of prospective. In the best situation, uh, we can just identify the contamination and we can't uh, prevent the water pollution. And in other words, we can just quality control and not uh, quality assurance. Uh, the most important result of implementing water safety plan is that we can guarantee the um, quality of water by applying risk management uh, that we can lead to prevention of uh, water pollution in uh, groundwater resources and uh, surface resources of water. So, uh, the most important steps uh, that uh, we have uh, regard to WSP implementing in Iran as below. First, we formed the uh, National Steering Committee for uh, Implementing WSP. Uh, would you please click on the link of the name of... Yeah. Uh, the National Committee 
is uh, consist of uh, the representative of this organization, the Ministry of Public Health, that is rep uh, responsible for implementing water safety plans, and our company, the National Water and Wastewater Engineering Company, that is responsible for supplying uh, drinking water in urban and rural areas. Iranian Water Resources Management Organization, uh, this just work on dams and groundwater resources, but not, not supplying the water in urban area. Ministry of Agriculture, you know that the agriculture is the main role in uh, water usage and uh, it has the main role in uh, Polluted, uh, pollution the water by fertilizer and pesticide. Uh, Ministry of Oil and Ministry of Industry, uh, because of their role in uh, polluting the water resources, and Environmental Protection Agency and Ministry of Interior Affairs and Municipality. Uh, these are the, um, the, the representative of this uh, organization are in the National Steering Committee. So in the next step, uh, to, in Iran, uh, the cabinet to pass a law for uh, implementing water safety plan, and it emphasized to implement a water safety plan in all of the cities of Iran. And uh, also, after that, we implement WSP as a pilot plan for the first time in the city of Tabriz by cooperation with uh, WHP regional office. Uh, so, uh, we have the holding training course for experts and managers and uh, teach them uh, the principles of water safety plan. Uh, then, uh, we prepare manuals for some steps of WSP to make it easier and simpler. Uh, after uh, implementing water safety plan as a pilot in Tabriz, uh, we de uh, developed the WSP in 14 cities in two steps. And uh, we organized three auditing groups to audit the uh, implementing WSP in these 15 cities. So the structure of WSP implementation in Iran is as below. Uh, we have the National Steering Committee as a leader in the top, and uh, for implementing uh, WSP in each city, uh, we decide to have two groups. One the Provincial Technical WSP Group, that is, uh, its member is the same as National Steering Committee, but in the provincial levels. And the second group, uh, that its member is uh, from water and wastewater companies. Uh, actually, it's the subgroup of uh, the Provincial Technical Group. And we have uh, three groups that audit the implementing the water safety plan in these cities to uh, audit that they are in the right way or not. And we have the one training group uh, for uh, training the cities uh, that want to implement WSP. And you can see the name and the place of the cities that we try to implement the WS. You can see that all of the 15 cities, this is Tabriz, our first pilot, and uh, in the second step, we implement WS in these three cities, and the, in the third step, we implement WSP in these 11 cities. So uh, we find that auditing is uh, as a, is a, as a, the engine for uh, the program. In order to monitor the 
program of the progressing the uh, WSP and uh, fix the problem, uh, we form three groups of auditing, as I mentioned before. And uh, this group attend in the that four, uh, 15 cities and review the documentation of WSP implementing in each city. And uh, they provide guidance to correct the mistakes. And finally, the auditing groups uh, report their progress to National Steering Committee. So uh, why we decide to have two groups, one professional group and one uh, group of water and wastewater company? Uh, as you know, except the catchment, other three elements of uh, water supply, uh, such as treatment plant, distribution system, and consumer, are in the control of the water and wastewater companies. And in the catchment, there is at least eight groups of uh, organization that have the role in uh, both uh, polluting the water or have duty and authority in uh, water control. The agriculture affairs, the oil affairs, environmental protection agency, water resources management, municipality, industry affairs, and urban water, and rural water and wastewater company. All of them has a, a duty and role in catchment area, but in the in this part, uh, just the water and wastewater companies have the main role. So we decide the provisional level work the, more on these uh, steps. I mean the water resource and sources, and uh, because the mass pollution happens in catchment, as you know and uh, facing the problem in the water resources require greater coordination between organizations. But uh, facing the problems in the distribution system, treatment, and consumer, just in the, under the control of uh, water and wastewater companies. Uh, to sum up, uh, due to diversity of problems that we are facing in catchments, uh, we found that implementing of WSP in catchments area is far more difficult and more important in protecting uh, water resources. So uh, we found that uh, the important points that we should uh, keep in mind in system description of cap, uh, catchments are as below. Uh, I mean, we should uh, consider these elements when we want to implement WSP in each city uh, regarding to water resources. The agriculture activities such as using fertilizer, uh, the name of the fertilizer, the name of pesticide that the farmers use in uh, the catchment area, urban activities that can affect the uh, water resources such as treated or untreated wastewater, uh, disposal of solid waste in landfill site, the cemeteries, the runoff and gas station, all of them can pollute the water resources and industrial activities such as untreated uh, industrial wastewater or crude oil transition, as I mentioned before, and uh, development activity in catchment area, such as the structuring, dams, road, and water transmission, trans, transition between basins. So thank you for your attention.